Hi guys, welcome to Being Wendy and I'm Wendy, you can also call me Madaina and I do videos on motherhood, lifestyle and anything that I feel like telling you guys about. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button to get notified anytime I post a video. Interestingly, my parents as well left <laughs> that same weekend. Like, um, so my parents traveled on Saturday. The nanny left on Saturday, on Thursday. So Friday we were with my mom. My sister goes to the office. So yeah. Then um, on Saturday morning, I was going for I was cycling with my group by Skilly Safaris. I'm going to link it down below so you guys can just be checking what activities you do and the travels and whatnot. Um, so we're going to Kitengela and that morning my parents tell me they're traveling so I was like what do you mean? But I had planned to go with the kids but the kids were in Iruka. Like Dina, Moses are in Iruka. Dina was excited so we went to Dina. Luckily we normally have a day bag who comes in to clean and then just goes back. So that day she doesn't come in on the weekends. But that day my mom just asked her, oh, could you please just come and keep Moses company when Wendy and Dina have gone, then we can work something out afterwards. So she just came and then 
I released her at like 5 p.m. because I was back here by 5. So she went. And then it was just, it's crazy. But yeah, so Saturday, Juni, Friday morning, uh, Sunday, Monday, it was just me and the children. Okay, Sharon was there, but me and the children. <laughs> so this was, for me, it was so hard. It was cooking, cleaning, making sure that I sleep on time, still getting. As it, it was just insane. I really value our nanny now. <laughs> like I always do. We always treat her well and don't know what. And we uh, have good friends. But let me tell you, when she came back, I hugged her. I hugged her. There's so much wind. And I was supposed to go for swimming. See, my friends are going for swimming. I don't even know if I will go. But anyway, so it was just insane i felt so overwhelmed but my mom was coming in on monday evening mm -hmm. so at least on tuesday it wasn't so bad hey, let me close the windows yeah so it was pretty crazy i tried to film as much as i could literally the whole of last week i couldn't film i just felt so overwhelmed <laughs> i don't know why but then luckily i was able to film a bit of snippets like preparing breakfast taking them to school and whatnot um thank god these kids have are really well behaved like they really did their best they were so well mannered they didn't really give me a hard time because we struggled a bit maybe like homework and whatnot but it wasn't so bad just like the usual like they weren't extra hard because they knew i was alone so yeah basically that was that that was my weekend no nanny and thank god the nanny came thank god my parents came but I think with that, one of the things I really think about and I thought it's quite interesting to mention, and I tell my friends all the time, one part of adulthood I don't know if I'm ready for is the part where you get a nanny and then when you're not satisfied or when you don't like their services, you need to release them. How am I going to do that? Like when I move out of this house, what will I do? I hope my mom will still help me. <laughs> my cousins, I don't know. Because how do you even... Like any bigger? <laughs> or... What is going on? Like I'm walking fight. What will I do? But yeah, so I don't know. Um, Luckily, I took a ghost we are not toxic. Or at least, not yet. <laughs> but at least when she went, she just came back. Um, Now she's back. Now I'm happy and I have a lot more time. One of the things I realized is when there's no nanny like i've never been left with the kids alone for a long time like this so it gave me the conviction i needed or rather the affirmation i needed that i could actually try and do this if i moved out of this house and i was with diner okay i can do it it's not so bad i can i can do it you know there's always been help there's always been support but then what happens when it's no longer there i felt like okay i've got this I got the kids to school on time. I don't know, it just looks small, but these are things I just really think about when I'm like, am I really ready? Am I really that deep into adulthood? Like, I already do so much. I already take them to school on time. Like, they're never late. Take them on time, their homework is done, they're clean, they're well fed, they're sick, they go to hospital and whatnot. Like, generally, they're taken care of. But when no one is there, and I'm completely doing it without anyone watching i think for me it's a very different ball game i don't know about you maybe you guys can tell me what you guys think about like when you moved out or when you're living alone with your kids or even when you're home are you having the same concerns when you're out there alone i don't know whenever i saw my friends who like had kids around the same time with me they moved out and they just i was like how did you guys do this sometimes i have that doubt of will i even be able maybe it's also just been things people tell you or how people treat you but now I'm like okay I think I'm in that stage of adulthood where I got this and even if I don't or rather even if I think that I don't I have to last money go to stuff but yeah so basically this is a really brief vlog vlog a really brief vlog I also know I didn't post the whole of that week but yeah back to regular programming um every month monday and thursday we'll try to do videos by 9 a.m nine every 9 a.m so this one will go up late but thursday 9 a.m 
tukutane hapa 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 youtube um but yeah thank you so much for the the hype i'm happy about the videos i did last two weeks ago more than a week and a half and some days ago because i've really really supported me and i feel so good so thank you for being here thank you for tuning in if you're new please subscribe if you're a returning subscriber thank you for being here yes we are back and i love what i'm doing i love my life and i hope i'm able to give you more information bye i don't even like this video